Hello friends, let's talk about some more diseases which are of interest for us because they infect us. Okay, so the very first in this category is Ascariasis. Ascariasis is a little bit different from all the other diseases which we have discussed till now because it is not caused by some microorganism. It is caused by a worm, a worm named Ascaris, an intestinal parasite. Okay. So it is an intestinal parasite so this disease it should be of the gastrointestinal system and what should be the mode of infection or the uh, you know the transmission it should be through contaminated water vegetables foods etc etc okay and what are the symptoms of the disease there are internal bleeding muscular pain fever anemia blockage of the intestinal passage etc oh sorry in the last lesson I forgot to mention that why in malaria there is, there is anemia so because the plasmodium infects RBCs and after the division it ruptures the RBCs and then it comes out of the RBCs. Therefore there is mass hemolysis in severe kind of malaria which causes anemia. Okay. So then comes elephantiasis also called as filariasis. It is caused by Buscheria, Buscheria bronchophrae or Buscheria malai. It, is, it slowly develops okay it has chronic inflammation therefore it develops slowly and usually the lymphatic vessels of the lower limbs they are blocked they are affected okay and the vector here is the female mosquito now, which mosquito it is the assignment for you please search i know the answer then comes the ringworms it is the infection caused by fungi and the very first infection the very first fungal infection you are coming across it is caused by fungi and mostly the fungi they cause you know the uh, dermal infections okay the skin infections so the fungi belong to the genre microsporum trichophyton and the epidrophyton they cause this ringworms okay so what is ringworms it uh, it is the presence of dry skin lesions on various parts of the body like scalp nails or the skin okay and heat and moisture they help the fungi to grow and generally this um, infection is acquired from the soil contaminated soil or from the contaminated um, using the contaminated things like towels clothes or even the comb etc okay so this is also fomite infection okay then this line the prevention is better than cure you must have heard many times okay so there are a lot of diseases which can be pre prevented or i should say that most of the diseases are preventable like the cancer uh, if you talk about lung cancer so most of the cases of lung cancer they are because of uh, smoking i mean 90 percent of the cases of lung cancer are because of smoking so lung cancer is preventable by preventing smoking right aids is preventable by um, using some uh, protections okay so most of the diseases they are preventable like most of the diseases they are uh, caused because of unhygienic conditions therefore personal hygiene is very very important take bath every day okay keep your surroundings clean keep your home your room wherever you live uh, keep that thing clean okay and don't let the uh, remain water stagnant around your home or anything okay and if the mosquito are breeding then uh, get the spray or mosquito repellents or uh, use those mosquito nets and all okay also this uh, some gambusia like um, fishes can be used for the ponds because they uh, they feed on the mosquito larva also the stagnant water and all they can be sprayed with oil so that the oil will cut off the oxygen supply and the larvae will not be able to grow and the vaccination and immunization is one of the most important things in this regard in prevention because vaccines are so nicely or so easily available for most of the diseases they are cheap also and their accuracy is very very high so this is one of the best methods of prevention okay so that's it from this lesson thank you